Hello friends, thanks for joining me. It's Robert Arthur again. I, and yes, I have some whiskers here about to go on my annual elk hunting trip. Wonderful bonding time with my dad and, and sister. So I just want to share a quick message with it today. It's a very powerful one. And it's a story from the book called Seven Habits of Highly Successful People. And it's a wonderful lesson about listening with both these two things and having empathy before we before we judge others, really. And I'm going to condense this story down uh, to make it real concise and to the point. Picture you're getting on a busy subway in New York City. It's a Sunday morning, typically a very quiet, relaxing time. You'll pull the paper out or whatever, your, your, your favorite book, and you have a good, say, 30-minute ride. You're just relaxing, enjoying your Sunday. All of a sudden, the next stop, the subway stops, and a man with two kids hops on, actually runs onto the subway. His kids are tearing things up, running around. The man kind of looks at the kids, and he just he feels like he's, from your perspective, just a terrible dad. He's not tell, asking the kids to behave themselves, and he runs by, and one of the kids knocks your book out from, from you, and you pick it up, and, and this goes on and on. You kind <clears> of, <throat> to the man, he doesn't get the point. And you're thinking all these thoughts, he must be a terrible dad, these kids are totally spoiled, they're running amok. They're running amok in the subway, so your whole Sunday morning is spoiled. So, and you're thinking how terrible this person is for not being a good dad. You look over to the gentleman finally and said, excuse me sir, would you mind asking the kids to settle down? He looks at you, and he has this kind of you finally notice he has this pain in his eyes and he looks at you and he says I just don't know what we're going to do you see the kids just lost their mom I just lost my wife we're on the way home to, to tidy things up and prepare for what's ahead of us Didn't everything just change? Everything changed. Now you go from here down to here and you look at him and you said, you know, wow. You turn from resentment and anger to, wow, empathy. You feel his pain. You feel his confusion. His helplessness about how he lost his, one of the most precious ones in his whole life and the kids just lost their mom. See how things can change in an instant once we truly understand people that come into our life. Empathy, my friends. Seek first to understand, then to be understood. Hopefully that story uh, hits home to you, just as it does to me every time I think about it and share it. So uh, have an incredible day. And before we judge, listen and find out what somebody is going through. Have an incredible day. God bless.